Hello friends, I'm Apurva Vashisht, Assistant Professor in Biani Group of College. Welcome to you all on behalf of the Guru KPO. Today I'm going to deliver the lecture on projectile motion from the subject mechanics. From the past, we have, be, uh, we have already introduced the projectile motion. Now onwards, I am going to uh, introduce you the further knowledge of the projectile notion, motion. We have done about the derivation of the projectile motion. The further derivations are over here. Maximum height. As I have already told you about the maximum height is being considered from the base to the maximum where the Vy value is uh, termed as 0. The maximum height is we have taken the edge. Now we are going to know about the maximum height equation. Consider the y motion from A to C. Y, y motion, y from the y coordinates because the maximum height is already always uh, taken at the vertical motion. Therefore, at the y coordinates we are being considering the uh, maximum height. From the A to the C point, we will be going to uh, take the, we will be going to take the derivation of the equation. Y motion from the A to C. The equation of the kinematics which we have used is v square equals to u square plus 2as. v square value at the y at the y position that is over here is v square equal v over here at the c point is taken as 0. Therefore, the vy is 0 and uy at the u direction from at the y coordinates are u sin alpha. Therefore, uy is taken as u sin alpha minus 2g because acceleration at the upper point is minus g due to the gravity therefore minus 2g and height the max the height coordinates which we have taken at the y to the base to the point c is taken as h therefore it is h so the height uh, the equation of height which is come as u square sin alpha uh, sin square alpha upon g so the maximum height which is which has come of this uh, equation is is u square sin square alpha upon g. Now we are going to look towards the derivative of the whole trajectory which we have drawn over here. Let us now look at the derivation of path equation. For that let us consider a point P which is little earlier than the Vy which, have, which is having the value as 0. The V P is having the coordinate x, y and the, at the y axis its value is y when the x axis the value is x. Now let us take a time, uh, let after time t1 which is uh, p coordinates are x and y in x motion uh, from the a to the p that is from a to the p motion at the x value the, where the motion is uniform the acceleration point will be 0. So at the x motion we have considered a to the p the x value will come as u cos alpha t1 why u cos alpha because at x motion the value of the initial velocity is u cos alpha and the time which has come from this equation is x upon u cos alpha and at the y motion if we consider we have the value from a to p that is from a to p at the y coordinates we have the value uh, from the kinematic equation s y equals to u y t minus half g t square the y value from the uh, at the y direction the s value will be the y and the u y t will be u sin alpha into t. Now, why u sin alpha? Because at the y equation, we have the initial velocity, initial coordinates of the velocity are u sin alpha. So, u sin alpha into t minus half g t square. Now, putting the value of the t1, that is the value of the t1, that is x upon u cos alpha into this value at the y equation, we get the y value as y equals to u 10, uh, x 10 alpha minus g x square upon 2 u square cos square alpha. This is the final value of the path equation and here the equation of the projectile motions n. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for listening this lecture and uh, for the further lectures you may uh, log into our website www.gurukpo.com. Thank you, thank you very much.